classification of industries on the basis of source of raw materials used agro based agro based industries are those industries which draw raw materials such as cotton woolen jute silk textile rubber and sugar tea coffee edible oil etc from agriculture mineral based these industries are those which get raw materials from minerals like iron and steel and cement industries according to their main role basic or key industries which supply their products or raw materials to manufacture other goods for example iron and steel and copper smelting aluminum smelting consumer industries that produce goods for direct use by consumers sugar toothpaste paper sewing machines fans etc on the basis of capital investment at present the maximum investment allowed in a small scale industry is rupee 1 crore if investment is more than 1 crore on any industry then it is known as a large scale industry on the basis of ownership public sector industries are owned and operated by government agencies bhel sale etc private sector industries are owned and operated by individuals or a group of individuals disco bajaj auto limited dabur industries joint sector industries which are jointly run by the state and individuals or a group of individuals oil india limited that is oil is jointly owned by public and private sector cooperative sector industries are owned and operated by the producers or suppliers of raw materials workers or both they pool in the resources and share the profits or losses proportionately such as the sugar industry in maharashtra the coir industry in kerala based on the bulk and weight of raw material and finished goods heavy industries industries which are heavy and bulky raw materials and produce products of the same category are called heavy industries such as iron and steel light industries industries that use light raw material and produce light goods such as electrical industries textile industry india textile industry is one of the leading textile industries in the world the textile industry contributes 14% to industrial production its employment generation is significant that is 35 million persons directly the second largest after agriculture It also plays a major role in the economy of the country. India earns about 27% of its total foreign exchange through textile exports. It contributes 4% towards GDP. It is the only industry in the country which is self-reliant and complete in the value chain that is from raw material to the highest value added products. Cotton textiles. In ancient India Cotton textiles were produced with hand spinning and hand loom weaving techniques. After the 18th century, power looms came into use. The first cotton textile mill was set up in Bombay in 1854 exclusively out of Indian capital. Since then, there has been steady growth in the cotton textile industry. In March 1986 there were 1614 textile mills in the country demand for cloth in UK during world wars gave a boost to the development of the cotton textile industry today there are nearly 1600 cotton and human made fiber textile mills in the country about 80% of these are in the private sector and the rest in the public and cooperative sectors Apart from these there are several thousand small factories with 4 to 10 looms in the early years the cotton textile industry was concentrated in the cotton growing belt of maharashtra and gujarat availability of raw cotton market transport access to port labor 
climate, etc. contributed towards its localization. Today, Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu and Gujarat lead the country in cotton textiles. Of late, ready-made cotton garments industry has been developing fast to cater to foreign and domestic needs. The cotton industry in India provides livelihood to farmers and workers who are engaged in ginning, spinning, weaving, dyeing, designing, packaging, tailoring and sewing. The industry by creating demands supports many other industries such as chemicals and dyes, mill stores, packaging materials and engineering works. The hand spoon khadi provides large scale employment to weavers in their homes as a cottage industry. Production of fabric in India by various sectors, sector share of loomage production. Sector Mills Share of production 6% Loomage 1.33 lakh Sector Power loom Share of production 54.17% Loomage 14 lakh Sector Hand loom Share of production 23% Loomage Not applicable 90% of the weaving, cutting and processing is in decentralized sector. India exports yarn to Japan, USA, UK, Russia, France, East European countries, Nepal, Singapore, Sri Lanka and African countries. India has the second largest installed capacity of spindles in the world next to China at around 34 million in 2003-2004. India accounts for about 25% of the total world trade of cotton yarn. However, our trade in garments is only 4% of the world's total. Our spinning mills are of international level and capable of producing superior quality yarns. But the weaving, knitting and processing units are not using much of the high quality yarn that is produced in the country. Although India has made significant increase in the production of good quality long staple cotton, about 9,232 lakh blaze were produced in 2004-2005, but the need to import is still felt. Our cotton textile industry suffers from unfavorable climatic conditions. Power supply is erratic and machinery needs to be upgraded in the weaving and processing sectors in particular. Jute Textiles Jute is known as the golden fibre. Jute fibre is mainly used for snacking and cordage. Different forms of handicrafts also use this fibre. Jute is cheap and important among all textile fibres after cotton. India is the largest producer of raw jute and jute goods. India stands at second place as an exporter after Bangladesh. Presently, it also contributes to exports to the tune in nearly rupees 1000 crore. There are about 70 jute mills in India. Most of these are located in West Bengal. The first jute mill was set up near Kolkata in 1859 at Rishra. Reasons behind setting up of jute mills in Hooghly Basin are proximity of the jute producing areas, inexpensive water transport, supported by a good network of railways, roadways and waterways to facilitate movement of raw material to the mills, abundant water for producing raw jute, cheap labour from West Bengal and adjoining states of Bihar, Orissa and Uttar Pradesh. Kolkata as a large urban centre provides banking, insurance and port facilities for export of jute goods. The jute industry provides direct employment to 2.61 lakh workers and supports the livelihood of around 4 million farm families. Around 0.14 million people are engaged in the tertiary sector and allied activities. 
The industry faces many challenges, including stiff competition in the international market from synthetic substituents and from other competitors like Bangladesh, Brazil, Philippines, Egypt, and Thailand. However, the internal demand has been on the increase due to the government policy of mandatory use of jute packaging. Sugar industry India has been known as the original home of sugar and sugarcane. India stands second as the largest producer of sugar next to Brazil but occupies the first place in the production of gur and kansuri. The Indian sugar industry uses sugarcane in the production of sugar and hence maximum number of the companies is likely to be found in the sugarcane growing states of India including Uttar Pradesh Bihar, Maharashtra, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, and Gujarat, along with Punjab, Haryana, and Madhya Pradesh. There are over 460 sugar mills in the country. 60% mills are in Uttar Pradesh and Bihar. This industry is seasonal in nature, so it is ideally suited to the cooperative sector. Cooperative sector has 252 mills. In recent years, the mills are concentrating in the southern and western states, especially in Maharashtra. The cane produced in these states has higher sucrose content. The cooler climate also ensures a longer crushing season. Major challenges include the seasonal nature of the industry, old and insignificant methods of production, transport delay in reaching cane to factories and the need to maximize the use of bagues. The bagues can be used as fuel for electricity generators etc.